Jaws on the NES often gets lumped in with some of the worst games on the system. I've seen Jaws on many top bad games lists, and I'm left scratching my head. Is it really justified? Now the game isn't groundbreaking, nor does it deserve any recognition as being a beloved classic on the system, but on the same token, I do believe it's often dismissed as boring and not really appreciated for what it is. A 20-30 to 30 minute time killer in the vein of a simple arcade game. So let's take a deeper look, and at the end of the video I will give you 5 facts you may not have known about Jaws on the NES. It was bad. It really was. Uh, it gets a lot of flack because of the fact that pe I don't think people were ready for it. I think Jaws was a little bit ahead of its time. Okay, I gotta make dinner soon, so I thought it was a very enjoyable game. I just was no good at it, you know. I, I <laughs> died all the time. Uh, there was no strategy. It was like... You know, I mean, at a certain point, I got stuck. It was like Rygar. I couldn't figure it out. Like Jaws may not be the first game that I pop in when I turn on my NES, but it certainly isn't going to be something that I say I'll never touch. There are a lot of bad games on the NES, and I just do not consider Jaws to be one of them, despite what a lot of people say. Jaws came out in North America in 1987, a relatively early release on the system, so let's take that into consideration. And as we know, it was published by the infamous, now infamous, LJN, of which this being one of the first titles they ever announced. Just pick any of the other LJN games on the NES. They're all they're all worse. X-Men, uh, Back to the Future, uh, they're, they're, they're all worse. This is, in my opinion, the best LJN published game on the NES. It was produced by Atlas. Yes, that Atlas, and was outsourced to West One, West Tone, West Tone? I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but West Tone Bit Entertainment to develop it. The game is loosely based on the newest movie at the time, Jaws the Revenge, which is by far the worst of the series, and, and it's not even close. At least in Jaws 3, you can laugh at it. A little side note here, I remember when this movie came out, it came out at the same time as the original Snow White movie, the animated series. They did a re-release in 1987, and... My mother took me to go see Snow White, and I remember seeing Jaws the Revenge, the movie poster, in the theater. And I wanted to go see that movie, but no, I was stuck going to see Snow White. Anyway, the game has you piloting a boat between two docks on an overhead world. The point being to collect shells in order to level up your power to be strong enough to take on Jaws. To get shells, you have to do these side-scrolling levels, or actually they're pretty much static screens. They go vertical. Um, Anyway, to mindlessly shoot your enemies, you get to these stages via random encounters. Wait, overhead world? Leveling up? Random encounters? Is Jaws an RPG? Is it an RPG? Wow, I didn't even, I didn't, I didn't even think about Jaws being an RPG at the time or even recently. But if anything, you could consider it, um, like you could consider Jaws the first action RPG ever. I'm not sure of the accuracy of any of that, but I do know that Jaws does have a lot of the elements that uh, uh, RPGs have, uh, and maybe it's the world's quickest RPG. All of a sudden, a sound happens, and you get warped into a fight zone. But, like... Come on, guys. You can also collect a lot of shells by killing a bunch of baby sharks, which puts you into a bonus stage where you drop a bunch of bombs on jellyfish, which is extremely satisfying because jellyfish don't deserve to live. And speaking of which, you will see Jaws in the water as you play, but don't try to take him on until your power is high enough. The penalty for taking a hit in the game is that you lose your power and have to collect even more shells. But once you have enough shells and a high enough power, which I've found is usually around the 7 to 8 range, you can take on Jaws and send him back to hell! Nothing like sweet revenge. Now of course, the game is not perfect by any means, but what could they have done to make it better? I say... A few things. First of all, maybe a little bit of enemy variation. 
We just basically kill sharks, squids, and jellyfish, and that's it. Maybe even have the levels a little bit more intricate. Maybe you, a little bit of side-scrolling. Maybe you go into some caves. Maybe explore a little bit more. I think a lot more people would enjoy this game. Yes, the game is simple, but I do think that that is part of its appeal. Just floating in the water, shutting off your brain, and, and shooting worthless sea creatures. Yes, some could say it's boring, but I do find a certain charm to it. Maybe it's because I like to shoot sharks in the face, uh, or maybe it's because I like the ocean, who, who knows? I'm just here to say that despite being dogpiled on, it isn't a bad game, as long as you don't expect too much from it. Just appreciate it for what it is. A simple, quick time waster where you bomb jellyfish and shoot sharks in the face. When it comes to Jaws getting a lot of flack, uh, I don't feel it's justified. I, I feel that it was almost kind of like Friday the 13th, you know, they they expected more out of the game. No, I never owned Jaws growing up, but we did rent it though. And uh, I, I, however, I do not remember at all ever seeing the game in Nintendo Power. Uh, and that's usually what I looked at whenever I said, hey, I want to rent this game. I, I saw it in Nintendo Power. And I don't remember ever seeing Jaws. I think it was one of those situations where I went to the rental store jars and saw Jaws sitting on the wall and thought to myself, wow, a, a shark game. How can you go wrong with this? And uh, we rented it, took it home, uh, and it was not great back then. It, it, my opinion as a kid has changed since an adult, and back then it was just very boring. But I expected more from a, from a game, and Jaws really, really didn't do it for me. But now, looking back at it, uh, I kind of uh, see in a different way. And also, I think Jaws got a lot of flack because there wasn't enough Jaws in it. You know? Like, maybe you should have seen him a little bit more often or less. You should have waited until the very end. But, like, really? It was still a solid game, in my opinion. Now let's take a look at five things you may not know about Jaws on the NES. Number one, there were plans to use the seaplane a lot more in the game. Not much is known, but it was scrapped because of time restraints and just kept as a bonus stage. Two, it was the first ever game developed by Weststone, and it's said that they finished it in under a month. And I totally believe that. Number three, Weststone was not credited in-game due to the game being under subcontract. Although the developers went on record as saying that they weren't happy with how the game turned out and they didn't even want to be credited anyway, so it was really no big deal to them. They didn't want to have anything to do with it. I don't think that they even appreciated it for what it was. Number four. While loosely based on the fourth film, it is not a direct movie-to-game adaptation. It also borrows elements from the first film. I, I guess shark and water, right? Number five. Programmer Mishitoshitaka went on to program for the Persona, Shin Megami Tensei, and Mario Party series. There's no reason there should be a near 10 minute video on Jaws in the NES, but here we are, we're, we're discussing this game, and, and I wanted to get more opinions, but I, I couldn't do it. Uh, however, uh, I will still go down fighting, defending this game, and, and I just don't, I just don't see the the merits of it being lumped in with all the absolute garbage that's on the uh, NES. I mean, for an action adventure RPG, especially one of the first ones of its kind, it, it was misunderstood. I think I think it got a lot, of, a lot of flack because of the fact that it combined the the two different you know aspects of, of gameplay, and everybody was either hey, it's either adventure, action adventure, or it's RPG, but to handle both at the same time, it, it I think it threw a lot of people off, you know, where I, you know, I, I completely understood it, and, you know, it, it, it was a fucking awesome game, dude. If you don't like Jaws, Overall score, uh, what do I give Jaws? Uh, I give it, uh, I think I would give it a 6.5 out of 10, and to just to, show you my scale. Super Mario 3 is a 10. Uh, Dash Galaxy and the Alien Asylum is a 1 or a 0. Actually, yeah, 0. So I'll put this at 6.5, maybe pushing a 7. Uh, 1 out of 10 Jaws, I think, would come in for me at about a 7, 7.5, 8. You know what I mean? Somewhere in there. 
just because it like it it really was a, it was a good game it was a fun game and it, i think the people who give it a lot of flack is because they don't know how to play it and because they're dumb shits. however i am not a dumb shit. well i am but not when it comes to jaws the video game so <laughs> Let me know below, do you like Jaws on the NES or do you think it deserves the hate that it gets? I've been meaning to make this video for a while now. Uh, tell me what you think and, and tell me what you want to see in terms of more videos like this. Did you, did you like this video? Do you want to see more of them? Let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.